been a while since we were here in the studio to preview a Fight For It show. Thankfully, we're back at it. Hi, I'm Kristen. Let's dive right into our biggest show ever, Fight For It 10. Before we get into the fights, I want to tell you that, as a safety precaution, in-person attendance is limited. If you purchase your ticket online, you are guaranteed to get in. As of now, tickets are available, but we fully expect to sell out before February 27th. If you want to take your chances, some tickets will be available at the door, but sales are dependent on capacity becoming available after the kickboxing portion of the evening. As usual, the event will be live streamed for free on the new Fight For It app, Facebook, and YouTube. Now, on to the fights. While the card is subject to change, as of now, there are 32 fights scheduled, 13 kickboxing, 3 combat jujitsu, and 16 MMA. Starting with kickboxing, we have an exciting fight between the youngest combatants on the card, Allie Tucker and Madison Reed. Both are making their debut, but neither is inexperienced. Tucker trains under elite level coaches. Her Muay Thai program is headed by world-renowned referee Blake Grice. In a recent interview, Tucker promised sparks and is looking for a knockout in the first round. Reed, however, is not one to shy away from a challenge. Her academy, Lake Norman Muay Thai, is helmed by former professional fighter crew J.T. Smith whose experience in the world of competitive kickboxing is sure to help her entry into the ring. Rounding out the women's kickboxing will be two more fights with debut fighters, Amanda Tuttero versus Kelly Zellner and Hannah Palmer versus Lindsay Munn. You can count on all these ladies to step into the cage intent on making an impact. Just to name drop some other kickboxing fights to watch, you won't want to miss 6'5", Jason Dula versus 6'3", Joel Suggs in a battle of the super heavyweights. Later in the night, we will get a good demonstration of youth versus experience as 20-year-old Tyler Van Hook takes on 35-year-old Bryce Nix. All this leads up to the kickboxing main event of Noah Siegel versus Jaden Noblezada. Both of these young fighters enter the ring with tons of experience. Siegel boasts a record of four wins and four losses, while Noble Zada comes in at three wins, two losses, and one draw. Both fighters are young and have enough stamina to go the distance. This should be an excellent showcase to round out the kickboxing portion of the evening. Before we move on to MMA, don't forget to play the all-new Daily Fantasy for Combat Sports on the Fight For It app. The contest for Fight For It 10 is free and will go live on February 20th. You can make predictions on every kickboxing and MMA fight on the main card, and live scores of the top 10 players will be shown during the live streams between fights. The top three scorers will receive their choice of Fight For It gear. You can download the app on the Apple App Store or Google Play. Now, let's preview some of the MMA fights. One of the first fights to keep an eye on is Josh Motzinger versus George Copa. Motzinger is a wrestling standout and Fight Lab MMA champ who has shown the ability to be successful. Copa, on the other hand, is a three-time kickboxing champion. For all of Copa's success in the ring, this is MMA, and with only one fight under the rule set, Copa plays the part of the underdog. No matter the outcome, look for this non-title bout to steal the show. Another fight to keep an eye on is Atlantic MMA's 3-2 Dylan Williams versus Jimmo's 2-1 Brent Williams. Following a recent victory, look for Brent Williams to come with confidence, exhibit remarkable tenacity, and put it all on the line. That said, look for Dylan Williams to stand his ground and showcase his non-stop activity for the win. Two heavyweight fights require attention as well. The first being Markwell Fullwood Jones versus Tylando Mattress. Mattress is a four and two finisher who believes in his power. Once you've heard him land a right leg kick, <laughs> you'll believe in his power too. But two and three Markwell Fullwood Jones is a heavy hitter as well and has more rounds on the books, even though the decisions have not always gone his way. The other heavyweight fight to watch is a title bout between Caleb Harris and Dalton Taylor. 3-0 Taylor grabbed a decisive but hard-earned victory at Fight Fort 5 against the aforementioned Fullwood Jones. His arsenal includes devastating striking complemented by a well-rounded ground game. 
Harris is more experienced with the 6 and 5 record. His last win was by referee stoppage in the first round, but that was over a year ago. He is a solid striker, but may show the effects of some cage rust. It has been over a year since we were able to have a show, and we are thrilled to be back at it with a bang in 2021. We look forward to seeing you at the show or on the live stream.